Hey, it's Elizabeth Brown, the Kitchen Vixen. Today we're doing what I just learned is called an OMAD. And I think of it as like, oh, I'm so mad that I gained some weight during my time off with COVID and the gym's being closed. And oh, thank God I found a gym. I was telling my coworker that I wanted to do one meal a day. Well, I do a smoothie, a big smoothie and one meal a day because I want to try and lean out. And he's like, oh, you're going to do an OMAD. And I'm like, uh, okay, one meal a day. Oh, like, oh, I get it. My OMAD for today is another salmon dish because salmon is essential for a strong and healthy muscles and heart and eyes and brain. I'm all about mental health for prevention of dementia and Alzheimer's disease because I work in that environment. And also I forget little things, but it's not in my family, so God willing. So I try to eat all the right things. Lots of like leafy greens and orange vegetables and a variety of things, plus my omega-3 sources. I was gonna go to the gym today. I went for a run instead, and because now I have to drive to a gym and I wanted to do a cooking video, now I have to choose. So I hate this. It's like I'm used to doing too many things and having the gyms closed has really put a, a crimp in my plans. But anyway, so we're gonna start with a skillet um, per usual, my cast iron skillet. I've also got some water boiling on the stove because I'm gonna parboil my sweet potatoes. And for the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna do kind of a julienne matchstick cut, which is just like, I'm not really meticulous about my cutting technique, but I do like smaller cuts sometimes, like little small, like not quite matchsticks, not a little thinner than julienne though. So I made these like very thin slices of sweet potatoes. And then I'm just gonna cut them in little slivers. And I'm gonna do a little parboil so that when I add them to my skillet, they'll be pretty much cooked and I'm just gonna focus on browning them. So, okay, this is a better version. I guess it is a julienne. Yeah, it's a julienne. Matchstick would be a lot smaller. Think about the size of a matchstick. It's that's a little too meticulous. I, that's probably something that's better work that would work better if you were doing like, well, I know for example, if we did spring rolls, which I have a spring roll video I never posted. Maybe I'll have to backtrack on that one because it's really good. And I don't know that I'm in the mood to make spring rolls, but in line with that, what I did make recently is some peanut sauce and I put it in my Talenti gelato container. I love this gelato, but I'm not buying more gelato because I gotta lean out. So I'm repurposing my container and this has my peanut sauce in it. And I went to holistic culinary school and I've been doing cooking demos since 1998. I've done like a hundred of them and this is all before social media. And unfortunately there are some of them in my, my reel, but some of them got lost along the way and my moves, stuff got stolen, stuff got left behind. So. I don't have all of them to show you, but anyway, nonetheless, I have tons of experience as a chef on TV. And when I was a private chef was actually one of my best experiences, even though I only did it for a month, I worked for this billionaire. And what I did was like, I would kind of make my recipes the night before. And, but I also needed stuff that I could make on the fly. Cause people would just show up at his house and be like, okay, what can I throw together? And the thing about cooking is it's not so much even all these like fancy cooking techniques. I always feel like the secret's in the sauce. So this is my almond sauce, the almond dipping sauce, but I'm using peanut butter. I used peanut butter this time, but it has ginger, garlic, chili powder. Actually, I didn't use chili powder. I use red, I use red pepper flakes. So I left out the chili powder. I used peanut butter instead of almond butter. I used apple cider vinegar instead of rice vinegar, tamari soy sauce because it's wheat free, honey, um, water and lime, lime juice. So you just puree all that and it makes this amazing sauce that you can use over and over again. So I actually had some Thai takeout the other day and people always ask me like, what do I, where do I eat out? And I really don't eat out very often, but somebody wanted Thai. So like, okay, we had it and it wasn't very good. I have to say. So the next day I repurposed it and I added some extra like fresh vegetables that I got in my imperfect foods basket. And then I, made my own peanut sauce and it was the bomb. So I do skin side down first on my little kitchen vixen plate. I've got my little julienne cut sweet potato. I'm repurposing some peanut sauce and instead of doing like a rice or whatever, I'm just gonna do some sweet potatoes for, for some carbs and that extra beta carotene that we can't get enough of. This was a huge sweet potato. See how big it was? So it's like maybe a quarter of the sweet potato. The lid on, let that steam away for a bit. Let's use whatever vegetables I have on hand. So I've got some kale. In my Imperfect's food basket, I had these peppers. They're called Japanese shishito peppers and they're not hot. I can't do too many hot things, but they're, they're kind of, they look similar to a jalapeno. 
but you can just slice them up like without the stem, but you can put the seeds in and everything. So I'm gonna slice some of those up. A couple heirloom tomatoes from my imperfect food box. I'm gonna add those, purple onion. So usually what I do after I cook my salmon is I'll remove the skin and then I'll pan fry it on both sides and eat the skin. I still gotta figure out exactly what is the nutrition that I'm getting from that. I just know I like it. So there's the brown side. So now I'm gonna cut up my onions first. I always do my um, aromatics first. So onions, garlic. The potatoes are pretty much done. Turn that off. You can just tell by looking at them. Maybe like four minutes carb boiling your potatoes because then we're gonna add them to the skillet to finish cooking. What are you doing, Basil? Little slivers of red onion. I like little slivers like that. I'll cut them in half again. I drain my potatoes. <laughs> Hi, Basil. Nice little parboiled kind of steamed sweet potatoes, add those to my skillet. And I kind of just want to use up these tomatoes because they're about to go. I might as well get as much as I can in my one meal. Lots of color, lots of antioxidants. Because these are all vegetables, are, which are high in water content, then it'll make me feel full and satisfied. Between this and the smoothie, honestly, I'm not hungry, but the smoothie is really the key. Like I love my meals, but I'm telling you that smoothie, like yesterday I went to work after working out and I didn't bring any food and I drank this huge smoothie. It's like the equivalent of two smoothies. And I was fine all day long. It just satisfied me, but I was hungry at first. I didn't think it was gonna work and it, and it did. So when I came home, I just ate a little bit of like a version of this, like a smaller version of just some vegetables and protein with a little bit of peanut sauce. I like the OMAD. Oh, I'm so mad I gained weight during COVID. <laughs> the peppers are just gonna cut from the ends, like towards the bottom here and just, just do a little slices, okay? And then tomorrow I'm going to the gym for sure. I really like that new gym, but I just really need to plan a lot better than I used to, to be able to do a cooking demo and go there. Or maybe I'll do the cooking demo like on the day I still go to my private gym. So on days I go to the private gym, which is local, I can definitely do a cooking demo after that. My, or my squat box gym with my buddies, Rudy and Jenny, who I love. We got lots of color before I add the greens. So we got salmon, sweet potatoes, little peppers, tomatoes, wonderful nutrition. All right, I'm just gonna quickly cut up my kale. Sometimes I'll remove the stem, but yeah, I don't care. Definitely with like collard greens and Swiss chard because the stems are a lot thicker. I'm just gonna leave the stems. I don't like to get rid of anything. One time I was at Whole Foods and I was sitting at the end, like by the checkout area eating, and I saw this woman say something to the guy at the checkout. She had beets. Hey, you guys, don't fight. And there were greens on the beets. And then the guy got like a pair of scissors or something like that and cut the beet greens and then they fell into the garbage. But as it was happening, I, I stood up like, no, but it was too late. I'm like, that's the best part. The greens, the beet greens are, oh, they're awesome. This is a lot of food actually. I don't know if I can eat all this for my one meal. My sweet potato, my onions. Wait, watch out Chandler. Chandler. Almost out of time. This will be my meal and I'm gonna add some peanut sauce to it. Okay, oh mad. Let's get mad and do something about that extra weight we put on. One meal a day in the smoothie. I'm gonna take it to work with me. So it's all my vegetables. It's like a lot of food, but it's not a lot of calories. I'll have to post, uh, analyze it in retro, but I put like a nice dollop of peanut sauce on there. I've got all my vegetables and my salmon. I'm actually just cooking the skin up. I eat the skin right now and then I'm gonna go to work. So I got my meal, I'm gonna make a smoothie, and I'm good to go. Okay, so I'm ready to go to work, and I just wanna remind you to always be prepared, ABAP. It's not as good as OMAD, I need a better acronym, but try to be prepared as much as you can. So I've got my water, got my smoothies, ah, my fork for my food, and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna have a good productive day. Always be prepared, and try the OMAD get mad and get the body you want. Well, it doesn't have to be the body, just the energy or achieving your goal, but eating for health sake and exercising daily will go a long way towards helping you achieve any life goal, I promise. Okay, Elizabeth Brown, The Kitchen Vixen, I'm going to work. Have a good day.